Hey kids, it's Mr. Adam. Books can provide some of the best adventures we'll ever go on. Today we're reading How to Catch a Lovasaurus by Alice Wallstead and Andy Elkerton. On all the walls are posters and pictures too. Each show it's opening day, come meet a rare find. The Natural History Museum has a new show. A special creature, furry, warm, loving, and kind. In a great hidden valley, explorers discovered something enormous in size. A friend to the dinos and each living thing, he had purple fur and big bright blue eyes. He's called a Lovasaurus, the first ever found. His greeting had hugs and a giggling sound. Then he spoke quite clearly and said to the team, to spread kindness and joy around the world is my dream. So happy you found me. Now I can begin my quest. Can you bring me some place to begin as your guest? He was inside a theater behind the closed doors while a large crowd was waiting outside. We opened a side door to get a quick peek. He zoomed past us and we saw his backside. People are waiting, we must get him back but he's with the whale, fish, and shells. You think he'd be easy to spot in this room? All we can find is his note on the well. There are knights in armor all around us now. We see feasts and jousting and horses. There's a rustle, a clang, and a laughing sound. The guard wants to know who the source is. Earth, space, and planets, it's so dark in here. The amazing show lights up the sky. There's a note on each chair with a smiley face. Was that a tail we just saw fly by? In the African savanna, with animals and more, there are so many places to hide. Behind tall giraffes or under the rhinos, how would he begin to decide? Let's rest on the benches and sit for a while. There are crayons, paper, and pencils. These weren't here the last time we came, now how did he make animal stencils? He's run over now to the Egypt exhibit. There are pharaohs and even a crypt. We see gold masks, jars, mummies and signs. Then there's a loud bang when he slipped. Of course, it makes sense. This is where he would go. He loves his dinosaur friends. And here are more notes, like say hi, please and thanks. Could this be where the chase ends? He's vanished, somehow, nowhere to be seen. How could he be gone in a blink? He left us so many gift notes and signs, there's a message he wants us to think. Back at the theater, the doors are now open with flowers and notes on each chair. Each different, say hi, smile, share, you're great. And one big sign, spread kindness everywhere. The Lovasaurus wants each of us to be happy. We didn't catch him, but his message is clear. We can share with everyone what's in his heart. Hug smiles, love, kindness, and cheer. We head back through the exhibits we'd seen. Walking through each exhibit takes a while. Everywhere we look, we see happy people. The Lovasaurus made each person smile. The end. Thanks for reading a book with me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of Mr. Adam's adventures.